I was asked also just to give some general piece of advice. Now, considering I'm a recent grad, here's what I, here, here's what I say. First of all, study abroad. If I had to change one thing about my college career, I was in college for five years and two quarters with plenty of things that I did I'm very happy with, but I did not study abroad. Even as an engineer, you can find a way to do it, and it's incredibly valuable experience, if for, not necessarily for the foreign language reason, but for the cultural reason, and if nothing else, just to do something you will never have the opportunity to do again. Number one, all right. Secondly, take classes outside your major. I said that I'd do a little acting thing, one of my best friends convinced me to take an acting class. Loved it. It's, I, I had a blast with it. It's some of the most memorable classes you'll have will be stuff you take outside of your major. You're gonna, you might work within your major later. Like if you get a degree in ME and you go work in ME, you're gonna reference those classes all the time. All right, go take something that's fun. Go take art history. Go take, you know, sculpting, I don't know, something that could potentially interest you that's outside your normal comfort zone because you're not gonna get a chance later. Use your summers wisely. That can be an internship, which, by the way, I can't speak for Boeing, but I know that from me personally, I view it as a three-month-long job interview. If you do a good job, we are much more apt to hire you because we know what we're getting than potentially chancing on a new recruit. So use it wisely. Even if you don't get an internship, you know, travel a little bit, go do something, volunteer somewhere, do something. Just don't go home, sit, and do nothing. You know, don't follow summer baseball all, all along unless you plan on going and working in baseball. Do something with your summer. Learn the metric system, please. It's far superior than the English system. I wish we would retire it. <laughs> that's all we do. It's, it's, I mean, I, oh, it's awful. Um, don't over-specialize. And what I mean by that is, like, you're always, you're always going to pursue a major, and you're going to delve into some concentration, and that's great. But, and even if you go to the PhD level, that's awesome, but don't forget how all of the things that you did connect with all the other aspects of engineering. You know, that broad level spectrum, I spend half of my time coding. Coding, not coding. I literally spend half of my day coding because my test setups are governed by computer code. So I use both of my degrees every single day. And that, I can, I, that's not true for everybody, but I was very lucky in that aspect. So please, do not over-specialize. Remember everything else that, like, general education requirement stuff that you hate doing. Remember it's very useful. Take a programming class. I think I just proved that point. Um, establish relationships with professors. They're great for knowing what the industry that you want to go into is like. They're great for answering questions. They will help you with projects. They're eager. They're fun. Get involved with them. They're great for uh, letters of recommendation. They're all kinds of things. And it's nice to have a mentor, especially when you're in a place like this that has great learning opportunities. Look for some guidance on where to go for, to take interesting subjects. Um, on that note, office hours are your friend. They're not scary. So go there, help each other. Um, you know, obviously, no cheating, but help each other with stuff. I mean, you're taking hard classes. In a corporate environment, I mean, unless you're going to do a single startup and sit in your garage for a year and build something, you're going to have people with you. You're going to have to rely on other resources. Get in the habit of working collaboratively now, OK? Then, um, side note, totally unrelated to academics, learn real world financing. And I mean, that, it sounds silly, but I mean, learn what a mortgage is, learn how the stock market works, learn what the bonds are, know what it is to invest in a 401k, talk about a Roth IRA, use some money wisely. Yeah, you're going to get a job and earn a bunch of paychecks. Don't go blow it on a car right away. Okay, like I love cars just as much as the next person, but you will, uh, Einstein said the greatest power in the universe is compound interest. I'm not kidding you, he actually did say this, so it, and it's true. Just type in 401k calculator and look at the math. It's unbelievable what it can result in for you later in life. Put some money aside, start saving now, learn the benefits of real world financing before you actually have to start, you know, paying significant amounts of rent and you have dependents and all of that. Um, and last but not least, again, take advantage of opportunities that you will never have again. Enjoy every minute you can here. It's, you're at a great university, at a great time in your life, and you know, a lot of interesting things going all around you. Soak in every moment of it. Um, I loved my undergraduate education and would love to go back for a lot of reasons, would love to not go back for a lot of reasons, but um, yeah. I, there are a lot of things that you will never get a chance to do again. Try to figure out what they are and do them while you're here.